Hello class 2 students. Today we will study a English grammar topic noun. All the objects in this world have a name. For example, you are going to a toy shop and you are asking the shopkeeper to give you a ball and a bat. But you don't know how to name them. So if you will say I want this or that so the shopkeeper won't be able to understand anything. So for that purpose all the things in this world have been assigned with the name. So you can easily go and ask the shopkeeper to give you a ball or a bat. Now look at few objects. The first object, what do we call this object? A ball. Then the second one, a bird. Third one, a tree. Fourth one, a girl. And the last one is, that's a house. So anything which has a name is noun or naming book. Now let's do an activity. I'll show you a few pictures here. And you have to put the picture in the correct column. And the columns are person, place, animal and thing. So the first one is, that's a girl. And this goes to column, person. Second one, that's a house and it will go to place. Third one, that's a ball. It will go to column, thing. The fourth one, that's a bird. It will go to column, animal. Now that's a man and it will go to person column. An elephant, it will go to column, animal. An umbrella, it will go to column, thing. Now that's an apple and it will go to column, thing. A doctor, it will go to column, person. That's a fish and it will go to column, animal. Now that's a school and it will go to column place. The last one, that's a park and again it will go to column place. So like this we have categorized these things under person, place, animal and thing. So a noun is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. If we can see these objects, all these objects, girl, man, doctor, house, school, park, bird, elephant, fish, ball, umbrella and apple. All these are nouns. So now look at this picture. What can you see in this picture? There are so many books and they are on a table. They are kept on the table. So can we frame a sentence for this picture? We can frame a sentence like the books are kept on the table. There are two nouns in this sentence. One is book and the other is table. And both of these are things. Similarly, let's look at one more picture. There is a classroom and in this classroom a teacher is teaching. She is teaching math to the students. The students are sitting. And we will frame a sentence like the teacher is teaching in the classroom. So the noun is teacher and classroom. And teacher is a person and classroom is a place. So both of them are nouns teacher and classroom. One more picture is there. In this picture a cow is grazing grass. Sentence will be a cow is grazing grass and the nouns are cow and grass. Cow is an animal and grass is a thing. Now let's move forward. Let's look at few more examples of person, place, animal and thing. There are four pictures and we can, the first picture is of a doctor, second one it's a fourth, third one that's a cat and fourth one is a car. So normally we call this these as doctor, fourth, cat and car. So a doctor can be any doctor, a fourth can be any fourth, cat can be any cat and a car can be any car. So these are common names or common nouns. Now, if we are giving a name to this doctor, a name to this sport, a name to this cat, and a name to this car, 
it will be like maybe we we'll call this doctor as Dr. Sharma and that's a, that's the red bit. Then we'll call this cat, we'll give it a name, this cute little cat can be Kitty and then car, this car we'll assume as Honda City. So these, these are few special names we have given to these. Dr. Sharma, Red Fort, Kitty and Honda City. So these are special names. And these special names are also known as proper nouns. These special names are also known as proper nouns. One thing we need to remember is all proper nouns, these begin with a capital letter. First letter of the word will be in capital, like Dr. Sharma, Red Fort, Kitty, and Honda City. Now, let's do one more activity. There are few categories, countries, rivers, cities, days, months, people, buildings and festivals. So you must, you should know this that the name of the countries, river, days, cities, months, people or buildings or festivals, they are proper now. For example, name of a country can be Japan, river can be Yamuna, Delhi, is the capital of India. So, Delhi is the name of the city. So, that will be proper now. Then, Sunday is the last day of the week. In this sentence, Sunday is a noun and that's a proper noun. Then, January is again a proper noun. Akshay Kumar is a famous actor. In this sentence, Akshay Kumar will be proper noun. That's the name of a person. Then, Taj Mahal is a famous building. So the Taj Mahal is the name of a building. So again it will be proper noun. In Diwali it is a festival of Hindus. So Diwali again is the name of the festival. So it will be proper noun. So if you can see the first letter of all these proper nouns that's written in capital. So that is how we used to write proper nouns. Now an assignment for all of you. You have to make in your note uh, in the notebook. You have to make two more columns, and then you have to write the names of two countries, two rivers, two cities, two days, two, two months, name of any two, two person, then two buildings and two festivals. You have to write in your notebook. Like for example, for countries you can write India and Australia. Similarly, you have to write two rivers, city, and so on. That's it related to this topic. Thank you so much.